Okay, so right now I'm going to show you how to download and install the Scheme Editor software. Now first go to your dedicated browser and you can either go through the link that I put in the resource part of this lesson or you can Google Rexrod Scheme Editor 6. Now you go to the website and down here you will find the download button. This program will work on Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 10. Okay, now we click here to download, save the file and that's it. This program is completely free. Okay, now to install the program, you go to your downloads folder or wherever you downloaded the setup file. You run the setup file, of course. First you can choose the language, we're gonna go with English. Now I suggest that you read the user agreement, um, especially if you're going to use this professionally on your job. Uh, I never read these things, I know I'm an idiot, but that's the way it goes. One day they're gonna knock on my door, they're gonna say, okay, give us your kidney, I'm gonna say why, well, you remember that time in 2011 when you clicked I agree, you gave us your kidney. So now we're gonna launch the program and when you first launch the program right off the bat you're gonna get a message that says the drawn functionality will not be technical or reviewed by the program. The user remains responsible for the proper use of the selected symbols. The technical proof of functionality and compliance of standards is under the responsibility of the user or purchaser of the selected symbols. Symbol specification can be found possibly in the symbol library. Now, this only means that Bosch is not responsible for your construction. So, they are not responsible for anything you do in the scheme editor. This is just a tool to help you to, to make your life easier when drawing hydraulic circuits. So they have all the standard symbols here, ha they have a lot of tools that will help you and that's basically it. So in the next lesson we're gonna do, we're gonna draw a quick little diagram for you to see how it functions. This is not going to be a complete tutorial on this program, you have the manual for this program in the resource part of this lesson. So see you in the next lesson.